Man, I really miss that intro. I really do. How's it going, everyone? Can I say here, and I bet this is a sort of a surprise playthrough. Um, I was doing EWS, but I just really felt a little bored with it. I know I just started, and uh, I'm gonna press start just in case it goes into a, you know, a demo. But uh, yeah. I just can't really feel it. I mean, I know I put all this work into it and I hyped it up, but doing a few sessions on it, it just really wasn't enjoyable. It was, it was too stale. I don't. I I know I was trying to get a few cutscenes. I wasn't really getting them, but I just couldn't feel it. So I decided to put a hold on it. I do want to continue it. I really am pumped to do my own show and all that stuff, and watching all these people on YouTube, I'm a bit of a fan on one of them, they had a, um, a John Cena, like, storyline where he'd won all the title belts, and I was really enjoying it, and I thought, how does he do it? And I found out that you could create your own sort of cutscenes in the create a video mode, and I'm thinking of giving it a go, you know, trying to sort of build my own show, you know, all that kind of stuff, and... Until then, I thought, I'm just going to put it on hold, take a little break from it, and I thought, I really fancy playing a good old Smackdown game, and the reason I sort of got pumped for it is I've been watching some classic WWF, because I, you know, I'm exercising a bit now, I've got to start trying to get fit, and while I'm doing it, I'm watching Smack, uh, WWF Raw like, start at 1999, which was the time when... I, well, I wasn't really into it then. I mean, I remember watching Kane when he debuted. I was probably seven years old and thought that was awesome. And got this game in 2000. I didn't start watching wrestling until 2001, but I was a huge fan. I mean, I was one of those kids in school, you know, oh, you know, it's fake, but I didn't care. I watched it every night it was on and I'll play this game all day and night. So I decided to dust it off and do a couple of sessions on it, but what to do? I'm not so sure. See, I couldn't get my save game, I just, I don't know if I deleted it or if it's on a memory card that I can't find. Uh, it wasn't that big, you know, on a save game. Me and Luke used to delete our crowd superstars and, because you had pre-season, which was sort of like a, the way to increase your crowd superstar, not superstar, wrestler, wrestler, get that through your fucking head. <laughs> and that was how you build them up. So we would just delete them and redo them because the preseason's quite fun. I tell you what, let's do a single match and get the feel of it again. Oh man, this takes me back. I mean, Luke and I and mates of ours just absolutely thrashed this game. Couldn't get enough of it, and then SmackDown 2 come out. Oh, gotta be Kane, my all-time favourite. If you didn't know by my name. And The Undertaker, his brother. Ah, that's right. There was time limits back then. None. Uh, the KO was the best thing about these games, so I'm leaving that on. Arena. I always love that one. But we're going to do SmackDown. Oh, we've got to have that one. Alright, I think we're ready to go. I loved these. I mean, alright, today it's like, oh, we want full motion entrances, but these were awesome. I loved them. Alright, picking came for the first time ever, and I was like, holy shit, he looks awesome. But then, at the time, I hadn't realised that the match that I watched was the Inferno match with him and Undertaker. I didn't realise it was him until years later. I knew there was a reason I liked him. So he had our uncle over for the weekend. Our dad hired a few VHS tapes. Probably one of my favourite versions of Undertaker's theme. It's got a... Holy shit, you're dead, man. 
That was not a pun. I <laughs> they come out of nowhere. I'm pretty good tonight with these puns. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh no, I'm not used to it. X is to attack, circles to move. Oh, you see, I'm so, I'm so used to the slow pace now. Square is to reverse the attacks. I tell you, I do miss the targeting system as well. I put them on. I did. A, I was doing like a test to get the recording done, and I went through the options and put it on. And I think what I missed was the moves. How the sounds always made it sound so brutal. Now it's just like. Oh, Choco! Oh, Stomach Crusher! That was always a good move. And I always liked the Jackknife Powerbomb in this game. And I think it was in a few Smackdowns after. And I think what I loved is, it wasn't so base like um complicated. I mean, all these moves in the later games, it's just too much. I mean, a move for like every single position is just, you know, too much effort. And half the time, I don't even do some of the moves. That hurt. Oh, I can do the clothesline from hell. Well, that wasn't real. Me and Luke always used to say we did the clothesline from hell because if he did it right, he would punch them and it would look like the animation of the clothesline from hell. Come on. See what I mean? I'm, I keep pressing too light, uh, too early. Nope, that's not it. What is it? Down. Oh, you see what you get what I mean. If you if you know what the clothesline from hell is in the game. Alright, do you think we'll put him down? My favourite form of the choke slam. There it is, KO! Damn, I missed this. <laughs> I keep saying it, it was just. My childhood. Righty. You know what? I want to do the preseason. Nah, I won't overwrite. Oh, I've got to create a superstar. I'm going to try and create Matt. Matt from, you know, EWS and that now. This is how it all, uh, how we all begun. And then Carlos in debut to SmackDown 2. I'll do this as one video. And I will say that the creative superstar was very basic for this game. Oh, I love this song. It's a it's a definitely a creative superstar song. Uh appearance. 
all you had was the, you know, the roster scans and a few, you know, created. Oh, Robocop! There he is. Uh, back in the day, I made this guy and I named him Robocop. It was Beast. Oh, and what about Rex? Let's find Rex. Where is he? Always liked him. Where is he? Come on. Rex! This... Another great crit, uh, you know, wrestler that I made named him Rex, but I think he was Red. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Update just popped up. It's in the way. So I had Robocop and Rex. I'd always switch them, you know, around. Oh, do I do... Nah, we'll do Matt. If I'm up for it, I'll do a pre-season with Rex. Because you can't... Uh, see, back then, you only had four slots for Crayed Superstar. Where's Matt? I think he was 17. China. Tory. Godfather. Debra. Only three Divas in this game. There he is. And then I had Ken Shamrock. Yeah. And then I had Triple H's. Not that one. Where is it? Come on. Our Holly Test, our Snow, Gangrel, Christian, China, Ew. Where is it? Army Pants. That's Jeff Jarrett, isn't it? I've got to be close. There it is. Alright, and I had those pants. And this was Matt in SmackDown 1. Matt Blade. Uh, he was quite tall. Uh, quite thin, but bulky. Oh, if I remember, in a hardcore match, you start off with this weapon. Uh, I always had a nightstick, I think. I'll go with an iron pipe. Alrighty. Oh, do all cap. No. What's... There we go. I'll just do Matt for the nickname. Um... Back then, he was... I 
can't even remember. I give him 25. Australia! Uh, Kane. And... Oh, wait. I can't remember. I can't remember if this is, you know, the entrance move. I had... Ken Shamrock for this game, and then it was Chris Benoit and SmackDown 2. We'll go Roughneck. Love the hardcore match. Yeah, you get more points when you do the preseason. I want the powerful moves. I think I went pretty even. I was always, you know, <laughs> a bit of everything. You want to at least do two. Yeah, it was always a kicker. And hardcore. And you can't preview the moves, unfortunately. Uh, I always had shoot wrestling, he held his hands up. Now you see, because I'm only level 2, I can only have these moves. Which I thought was a nice touch. This is how it should be, not, you know earn points and buy them. I always liked the DDT. Falling net breaker. And the hard scoop slam. Oh, that's groggy. So I'll take that one off and do that one. Spine Buster. I'm probably going to get doubles, but oh well. Falcon Arrow. I love the Falcon Arrow. See how quick it is? You know, you're not messing around. I had the darkness choke. Ah, oh, I forgot.
Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna leave it on Angry Stomp. Oh, I might leave it at that. No, got no choice there. No, I'll leave it at that. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh there was not. I had the drop kick as a move uh, attack. All right. Now I don't think the jackknife power bombs here. So we're going to do... See, that's a back move. It's really hard to do a back move. I know I've got it as a move, but I'll do the Falcon Arrow. I had stone cold. Ah, oh, here it is. So I had Triple H. I think we are ready. It's weird, I did put it on auto. So I just love the soundtrack for this game. It had attitude. Alrighty, I see. If I remember. Yeah, you have to pick. 
and I'm all the way down at the bottom. Uh, I was I was talking that scene thirty seven was trying to figure it out. So yeah, you pick your trade star, wrestler, whatever you want to call them, and then you go through the preseason, basically like NXT for today's you know uh, WWE, and that's how you increase your stats. But we're going to end it here because I don't want this to go longer than thirty minutes. So I'll see you in the next episode. As as a just to make it interesting, I'll upload the video starting the preseason right after this one.